Tony Borgo, and I'm welcoming you today to the Lighting Public Library's Flash Flashback Friday. Today's Flashback Fr Friday finds us at 1504 119th Street. At the time of its construction in 1905, the address was 436 119th Street. The building's first occupant was Robert F. Denham. Denham was born in uh, Oberlin, Ohio in 1866. He arrived in Whiting, Indiana in 1889. He was employed at the Standard Oil Company from the time of its construction until 1908. In addition to working for the refinery, Denham was the proprietor of a newspaper store at this location. The store also sold cigars and other tobacco-related products. In 1909, Denham shared the space with Edwin H. Farr. Farr was born in Fort Ann, New York on August 16, 1838. He initially leased the Whiting News from E.S. Gilbert, but disagreements over political policies ensued. Farr then established his own newspaper, The Whiting Call. The Whiting Call, under the ownership of Farr, was the most successful of all the Whiting newspapers at the time. The new newspaper's officers re offices remained at this location until around 1914. In 1912, Robert Denham sold his interest in the newspaper business to Lee F. Clark, but continued to operate, operate the cigar and to tobacco business. In 1913, Walter Schrag named Denham the city controller, a position he held until 1929 when he resigned from it. In 1913, Denham sold his tobacco business to Roy Wellsby. Wellsby was born in Pennsylvania on April 4th, 1888, and he continued to sell cigars, stationery, and operate a billiards par at parlor at this location until 1917. In 1914, 436 119th Street had some new occupants. The space was shared by the Indiana Freemasons and by Baptist Visconti. Visconti was born in Switzerland on August 12, 1875. He was a plumber and a heating contractor. The Masonic Lodge operated its organization from this rented quarters of, on 119th Street until 1927. At that time, they opened their current headquarters at 512 Temple Court. This building's next owner was Dory A. Saylor. Saylor was born on May 8, 1887 in Cowden, Illinois. Saylor was a painter who operated the Saylor Paint Store um, for 56 years. In addition to painting, Sailor specialized in hanging wallpaper, graining, and varnishing. The Sailor Paint Store was run under new management until at least 1978. Could not find any information on what was at 1504 119th Street in the 1980s or early 1990s. However, Joe and Diane Stahur opened up a card shop at this location called Cheap Seats in 1996. The store carried a wide catalog of sports cards and other sports memorabilia. The store remained in business until 2010. In 2010, the building was once again had a new owner. This time it was Kathleen Ohm and Keeley Schalk. Um, and, and they re relocated their t-shirt shop to 1504 119th Street. The Junkyard t-shirt shop is a retail shop uh, specializing in screen printing and embroidery. They can even customize t-shirts for you and your friends and family. They are currently celebrating their 14th year in business. I want to thank you for joining us today uh, for our Flashback Friday. The next Flashback Friday will be on uh, uh, at 12 p.m. on Friday, October 30th. I do have some old photographs of the location. You can see here. hand a little. <laughs> and then one more. Just a couple reminders. Tonight we are going to have uh, a movie on the library's lawn at 6.30 p.m. And then tomorrow we'll be having our pop-up book sale on the lawn from 9 until 1 p.m. So hope to see you and I hope you enjoyed what you saw today. Please like, comment, and share with all your friends. Thank you.